second dine in sizzle dining has officially started and it's all to benefit blessings in a backpack it's pretty cool stuff and you might be wondering well what is blessings in a backpack and i'm happy you're wondering that because we have cecilia st arnold back with us this morning with more on how sizzle dining is helping uh, that organization and kids here in the area and it's good to have you back thank you yeah. i love coming here all right <laughs> let's get the uh, let's get the obvious question out of the way what is Blessings in, a backpack. Blessings in a Backpack is a national organization that what we do is real simple. We supplement the free breakfast and lunch program mm -hmm. that food insecure children have, and we send home two breakfasts and lunches every weekend. And I'm proud to say in Southwest Florida, we're feeding 8,000 children every weekend. That's a remarkable number. It's incredible. Mm -hmm. And how do people um, sign their children up, or if children want to let teachers know, what's the best way to get that information it's, out? It's really a unique way that we do with the school systems. We deal directly with the social workers and the social workers identify the children. For instance, we'll go to a school like Villas and say, we have so much funding. So three, 400 kids, they can decide at each school. Um, a lot of places have a lot of transition with children. Mm -hmm. We are feeding homeless kids at several schools. So we never know where the fires are, but the social workers and the administrators do. So we go in, the food's delivered directly directly to the school. They're delivered in these really neat packs that go securely in a child's little backpack uh, discreetly. There's a whole training that we go to with a school so other children don't know that other kids are getting the program as well. That's nice. That's nice. I mean, it's great for their self-esteem and everything involved. Well, it's in important. Yeah, it's, it's important. important. And uh, we mentioned earlier too, uh, before we actually came on, that a lot of this food or most of the food or all of the food doesn't even need to be refrigerated. It's pretty easy to, 100%. Get, to get back and forth. Yes, we work with an FDA food provider who, uh, after talking to a lot of our schools, we have latchkey kids. Mm -hmm. We have kids whose parents are working till eight and nine at yeah. night. Uh, we wanted something that the children could just go home and eat. Right. They didn't need to uh, cook anything. They didn't need to microwave anything. And then uh, a lot of our kids, you know, you don't know what kind of their home life has as far as refrigeration. So everything is shelf stable. We have shelf stable yogurt in four different flavors, which I love. Everything's nutritious. Mm. All our cereals are just like Kellogg's that you see in Publix with the one exception. They're low sugar, multi-grain. So ha ha. I didn't realize <laughs> too that you Make could that have kids. not refrigerated yogurt so that's you, super cool yes nothing needs to be refrigerated our juices 50 percent vegetable oh, cool. um everything we do is purposeful as far as getting the good nutrition content into their bodies um one in six kids in southwest florida is deemed food insecure about 48,000 kindergarten through fifth graders qualify for our program. Hmm. And if we're only feeding 8,000 a week and we're in five counties, we're barely touching the surface. And we do it for $150 per child for the entire year. That's, That's what awesome. it costs. So our tie-in with Sizzle is phenomenal because most of us could drop that in one evening. Sure. And you could support one child for an entire school year. Four meals. How has uh, the mission, if you will, Blessings in a Backpack, changed or altered a little bit since Hurricane Ian? Because a lot of families and a lot of children were impacted. You know, it's amazing. I've been doing this 11 years. And first we had COVID, which changed a lot of our working parents. Sure. Because they were the ones that were living paycheck to paycheck. So that, that drew our numbers higher. But then after Ian, our numbers spiked and they haven't gone down. Yeah. They're going up. Uh, when school started three weeks ago, I probably had 20, 20 schools call us that we're not in oh. and we, we just don't have the funding. Okay. Um, so that's the problem. Uh, we have what I call in this community gated community syndrome. Yeah. <laughs> if you live in a nice community, you don't know what you don't see. And a lot of um, my, my peers are retired or getting there. So they're not familiar with what's in the school system. Mm -hmm. So I always say, talk to a teacher. If you ever meet a teacher, just ask them how many kids in their class are food insecure and you would be surprised. Yeah. We have 17 elementary schools that have 72% kids that are economically disadvantaged just in Lee County. Mm. So the numbers are amazing and, and they're going up, they're not going down. Yeah. This is yeah. incredible. I'm so 
glad that there's something like this. And to see, like you said, the food here, it does seem like it's on the healthier end of things. You're taking them home and making sure that they're getting all the nutrients that they need, which is super important, I'm sure. Absolutely, for their, their development. So they're, they go back to school on Monday and they sit in the seats and they're ready to learn. They're fueled. And you spoke of the statistics a moment ago, which I guess just goes to show the need for something like sizzle dining here in the community. Sizzle dining is like the perfect correlation with <laughs> us. Yeah. First of all, you know, food for food. Yeah. I mean, it, it's, it's wonderful. But it also brings to mind the people that are going to these fabulous restaurants and having these fabulous meals, that the money is going right here in the community feeding other children. Mm -hmm. So it, it's, it's a beautiful thing. We are so happy to be involved with Sizzle. And uh, they have been feeding hundreds of kids for us uh, ever since Sizzle Dining started. So awesome. we're thrilled. Go out and eat. That's right. <laughs> Dine with a purpose. Dine say. with purpose. There's the information, too, on the screen. And, you know, definitely a, a great cause. And we just talked about the need for blessings and a